Welcome back to the Rack Warehouse YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at the Hangover Vertical Bike Carrier from Yakima. The Hangover comes in both a 4 and 6 bike configuration. The Hangover shown here has a carrying capacity of up to 6 bikes with suspension forks. It folds down when bikes are not loaded for easy access to the rear of your vehicle, and locks your vehicle with Yakima's hitch lock included with the rack. Some assembly is required for the Hangover. Start by depressing the foot lever to open the rack to a 90 degree angle. Then, insert the rack into your hitch receiver. Thread the hitch bolt into the pin hole on the hitch and fully tighten it down with a 15 16 wrench. Give the rack a shake. The rack should sway along with the vehicle and have no play in the hitch receiver. If your hitch requires the bolt to be installed on the driver's side of your vehicle, the hangover can accommodate that. Simply remove the set screw and swap the nut plate to the other side. Then, reinsert the set screw and tighten it down. With the rack installed in your hitch receiver, go ahead and install the supplied Yakima hitch lock and lock it up with your SKS key. Place the cover over the lock core and install the pin. Now you can begin assembling the rest of the rack. Rest the top bar on the mast of the rack, making sure the red dots align. Insert the bolts from the right side and thread on both sets of nuts. Tighten down the inside set first, then the outside. With the top bar installed, Line up the holes on the fork cradles to the ones on the bar, and tighten the integrated screws on the cradle with the large Allen wrench. Repeat the same steps for the five remaining fork cradles. Next, secure the rear bar to the mount like so, and tighten up all the hardware. Then, slide all the rear wheel holders onto the bar. With the mass bolt and washers removed, you can set the height of the rack to ensure your bikes have enough ground clearance. There are two height settings. Refer to your instructions to measure your vehicle's ground clearance to determine which setting to use. Reinsert the mast bolt and washers once your rack is at the correct height setting and tighten the hardware with the supplied wrenches. In preparation to load your bikes, release the wheel straps and fold them out of the way into the slot so they don't snag on your wheel. Release the rubber straps on the top bar as well. For some vehicles, you may need to adjust the mast angle to ensure your bikes will clear the back of your vehicle. You can do this by pressing down on the foot lever. Do not transport bikes in the lowest setting. This is only to access the rear of your vehicle when bikes are not loaded. Load your bikes on the rack from left to right. If you only have two bikes like we do, it's recommended to load them in the center of the rack. The forks of the bike should sit in the cradle on the top bar like this. Route the wheel strap through the spokes of your rear wheel and into the buckle. Pull it tight to secure the wheel. Pull the rubber straps tightly over the crown forks to secure your bike. With all your bikes loaded, you're ready to hit the road. Thank you for checking out our video on the Yakima Hangover. If you have any questions about the product, give us a call at 1-800-272-5362 or send us an email to info at rackwarehouse.com.